I, I have always seemed to go against the grain a bit. I, I just, I like to, to, you know, do things my way. And not in an egotistical kind of way, but just, I'm built differently, you know? I'm wired differently. Josh Childress made huge news last week when he announced he was leaving the NBA to play for Olympiakos in Greece. Yes, for me. When I get over there. Lots of olives. You better get used to it. Yeah, you can, <laughs> you can do that. You can, and you can afford the best Greek food now, which leads to the <laughs> obvious question. Why, in fact, did you do this? Was it purely for financial considerations, or is there more to it than that? Um, it was a little more to it than that. I think that, uh, you know, obviously, you know, the financial reasons come into play. But, um, you know, it came down to me uh, um, making a decision based on, on what I felt was right. I mean, uh, I, I went through the process of, of, of restricted free agency, um, didn't like my options. Uh, and, uh, you know, Atlanta was kind of drag, dragging their feet. So um, I made a move across uh, to Greece. Olympiakos is going to be joined. Like, I want to say an eyeball, but he's, he's naturally outside of the norm. And that's his comfort operating zone is because he's not going to conform to what everyone's doing, whether it's drinking. Everyone is drinking in college, da, da, da. He's never touched a sip of alcohol. I don't have to do that to be cool. Like, I don't want to be cool. I want to be me. Um, what they did tell me was, hey, test the market, come back to us, you know, and we'll decide if we're going to match or not. Um... I didn't necessarily view that as me running from the competition or me taking a step down or anything like that. It was, hey, I'm, I'm doing this, number one, because I don't have a contract on the table. Uh, but secondly, because I have to think about what's best for Josh Childress and, you know, and my family. And, you know, I think that, that, you know, when a player does something like that or looks out for self or, you know, tries to get the best contract possible, He's viewed as selfish. He's viewed as, you know, prima donna. He's only out for the money, blah, blah, blah. You know, but the business owners behind, you know, a lot of these organizations and these teams will cut people in a heartbeat. Actually, you know who, who made me think about that was, I think it was Chris Rock and his stand-up thing. And he was like, There are no wealthy black or brown people in America. We got some rich ones. We don't got no fucking wealth. People go, oh, what's the difference? Here's the difference. Shaq is rich. The white man that signs his check is wealthy. And so that's when I'm like, yeah, you know what? That is exactly right. I want to be that guy. You know? Like, it's cool being, you know, being paid and, and all that stuff, but I want to be the guy that's writing the checks. And, you know, that's kind of wh where my mindset has shifted in terms of... of you know, my goals in life. We're, uh, unsurprisingly, we're absolutely delighted to have uh, uh, an individual, a human being, and a player of Josh's uh, capabilities join us here at the Sydney Kings. It's uh, a massive coup for us, a great signing, and um, uh, we're just really, really excited and looking forward to uh, a wonderful season ahead. It's great to have Josh with us. The first business that I've owned outright myself, it is a uh, laundromat. How did it happen? How did I own a laundromat? You know, having a, an opportunity to run a business and you know, just giving myself an on-the-job learning experience um, while also still generating some income from it, you know what I mean? Um, and from, what most people have said, it's pretty hard to screw up running a laundromat, you know. But at the same time, I think that it will teach me, you know, just things about hiring, firing, payroll, uh, inventory, you know, I mean, just basic stuff, you know. So he's underrated in the sense of, like, his business mind. Like, he's, he's a crazy crazy business guy in his head. He he thinks of things, he you know, he sees investments, he he can really see an opportunity. He'll close his eyes, kind of, you know, pray on it, he'll, you know, think about it. And for the most part, if he says, ah, I'm a, I'm not gonna do it, 
it normally doesn't pan out. But when he does say, that's, I'm going to do that, it seems like it always works out in his favor. I've been satisfied with my career. No, I haven't. You know, coming back from, you know, leaving from the NBA to Europe and then coming back, you know, I didn't expect these past, what has it been, four years? To have gone how they've gone, where I've been, you know, on the fringes and, you know, not really been able to stick on a team. But you know, the NBA is, is and sports in general is all about the fit. I'm definitely excited to be here. Uh, it's been great so far. I got a nice flight out on United. Um, they took care of me and, um, you know, I just, I want to make sure that I come in and uh, become a part of the team um, and do everything that I can to help the team win. I mean, that's my only goal. So I'm just looking forward to a good season. The corner, Childress, will he go upstairs? Oh, nice! Golly God! <laughs> Wow, that was big. That was huge. <laughs> he just elevated all over Lucentia. Wow, that was big. Oh, dear. 